Hi, this is Alexander of Tagzilla.com. Coming at you today, going to give you a quick tip on a really cool secret tool you can use for your keyword research. As you can see from the address bar here that I'll go ahead and highlight, it's freekeywords.wordtracker.com slash gtrends. So you can take a look at this site and it is a really nice tool. I'm going to bring the screen down for you here. There we go. And just start with a base term of tennis or tennis, as we say there. If I could type, all right, let's go for the blackjack and hit me there for tennis. All right, let it work a little bit. And now, as you can see, it brings up the top 100 results and it estimates 4855 searches for the keyword tennis. The really cool thing I want you to notice over here, what makes this tool unique and outstanding is this G column right here. You can see the little graphical icons. Just click on that. It's going to bring up a new window within your window. And here's where it gets really cool. Bring the video over for you. Now as you can see it's got this red X for Google competition because red means stop in most cases so we're going to stick with that that you know like a stoplight. You can see there's 247 million competing pages on Google. Obviously that's way too many. You don't want to waste your time going after a phrase with this much intense competition. As you can see here it's recommended that you go after phrases with less than 30,000 competition. You can usually do okay with 100,000 or less competition. Really what you want to focus on. And obviously this red bar means stay away. Now down here you've got a green check mark. These are the actual visitors from a number one position in Google per day. Now these are based on G Trends data. Google Trends tells you the how a search phrase is trending. So when you are in the number one position for the phrase tennis, it recommends you get 50,000, greater than 50,000 or around 50,000, which is tremendous and amazing. Obviously, that's a green bar. You want to go for that because it's recommended you go for any phrases over 100 in searches per day. If it's searched over 100 times, you've got a good chance to get a lot of clicks and a lot of visitors to your site, which is what you want. But obviously it's got to meet both criteria. So you want green bars in this area and also this area. So obviously you want two green check marks as well to tell you to go after the phrase or not. So this one doesn't meet the criteria for what you're wanting to do, at least starting out. Now here there's a little more information. These are the main points up here, these two. Down here in this area, you can see the trends for tennis. And if you look at the very low points here, here, and here, you see that in the winter months, tennis is very lowly searched for. Now the peaks, as you can see toward the end, these peaks up here, toward the end of the summer. It makes sense for a phrase like tennis. And it's a good trend over the last four years. It continues to do that. Now down here, you can also go straight to the search on Google click on there and it'll take you to the top 10 results tennis plus affiliate any affiliate products and go for there it's a really cool tool you want to make use of because it's got valuable information for free and what you can also do to really supercharge your blogging is we've got a free 25 minute content packed video it's going to give you more tips on how you can make money blogging for free that you can watch go to the site listed below on this video or in the description section you can just click right on the link and go to it. It's Alexander at Tagzilla. I'll see you next time.